down like our Aberline sleeping in other people's sheets. <laughs> it's all very clean, Mum. It's a hospital. You disinfect everything. All the same, there's nothing like your own sheets. At least you know no one's died in them. <laughs> We've been here three hours now. Three hours! I'll bet people get better waiting to be seen in this place. <laughs> Do you remember when she was born? Of course I remember when she was born. <laughs> Royal Infirmary, Ward C, little pink bundle, blonde hair. She wasn't pink, she was brown and she had black hair. The pink baby was in the next cot, only you wouldn't know because you were pissed. <laughs> I'm not the only one who got pissed when he became a father. You got pissed when you became a husband. <laughs> I'm not pissed now, am I? You can't forgive, can you, eh? You can't forgive. Any moment now, it'll be Lilo Lil again. Don't you dare mention the name in this hospital where my daughter is ill. I'll go and get her some coffee. Keep her gob occupied. <laughs> OK, now, one thing at a time now. How is she, Doctor? She's still running a temperature, so we keep her in for observation. We've given her some medication, and we'll carry out some tests tomorrow. All right? Have you any idea what might have caused it, Doctor? No, we won't know, I'm afraid, until after the tests. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes? Thank you. <laughs> the patient, Aveline Boswell, is my sister, his sister, her daughter. So we are rather interested parties. Would you like a word with the water sister? No, thanks. You'll do. If you can keep still long enough. Now, I know that the majority of people you get in here are not very knowledgeable about their anatomy and that they surrender themselves to your obvious superiority. But we are different. We happen to know our arse from our elbow. <laughs> and my brother here could give the kiss of life to a swordfish. <laughs> so what we'd like to know is... OK, Jack. Watch man now. Greetings. <laughs> Please forgive my brother, he's feeling a bit over-emotional. However, to continue his concern, we would like to ask certain questions and point out certain requests. How high is her temperature? What test will he be giving her? What in particular will he be looking for? How long will he take? What kind of medication is he receiving? Can we be certain that all needles are absolutely sterile? If you should require blood, would you bear in mind we have enough in our house to save the world? <laughs> are the eggs free range? <laughs> and when finally you come to your conclusions, could we have a second opinion, please? Thank you. 